What's up guys, today is day four. Um, let's see, let me start off from the beginning. Um, oh, before I get into this, so yesterday's video, I had a hard time with the audio and I basically, I think it's because of this. This mic right here is a Rode mic. Um, this was mounted on top of my camera. Might be something wrong with that, so I disconnected it and now I'm just using the audio for my camera. I really care about good quality audio, so um, I really want to try and get that fixed uh, down the road. Moving on. So this morning, uh, I woke up kind of late. I got maybe to seven, seven to eight hours of sleep and uh, it's about nine o'clock when I got up and then I went home. I didn't have much of a breakfast. I just had banana. I really wasn't feeling that hungry. Um, and plus I didn't have that much time to make myself breakfast because I wanted to uh, get some things done around the house because it was Sunday and tomorrow I have to go back to work. So uh, after that we had to go make a couple trips to the dump and get some stuff out of the garage that we didn't need anymore. And then I came home, hung around for a little while with my friends, played some rock band. Um, it's a fun game. After that, uh, there's a Seahawks game going on in my, um, at my family's house and they prepared a dish called uh, chicken broccoli. I've had it before and I knew it was amazing. It's basically like chicken, broccoli and a, like a layer of cheese on top of it. It's an amazing dish. Uh, had some of that and then some rice on the side and a roll for dinner. And uh, after that, about an hour, I wanted to head to the gym because it was about 4 o'clock then. And um, the gym closed at 6 I think so I wanted at least two hours to work out just in case I did use those two hours up which I didn't really um, I maybe used like an hour and 20 minutes or so so when I got there um, I did bring a protein shake of course I usually try to prepare it before I go so I don't have to bring my powder or anything I just get my container and then I pour the powder in there and then wait till I get to the gym till I fill it up with water so when I get there, I normally start off with trying to get my heart rate up. So um, normally that's like running fast on like two laps maybe. That's a good way to get started, I think. Um, after that, then I go downstairs. I start lifting some weights with my arms mainly and uh, work this area right here and then my back and right in my chest right here. And then um, I'd go back upstairs. So I would go from running and then going downstairs for a couple minutes and then back upstairs and I started doing some ab workouts and then I hurt really bad. I remember earlier today I was uh, doing sit-ups I was trying to push myself a little bit more and then it just burned so bad. I laid down and I just couldn't move for a couple of seconds. And uh, I knew that felt good though. It felt good afterwards. So then after that, I went back downstairs, started lifting a little, more, little bit more weights and then after a couple minutes of that, I went back upstairs, ran a couple laps, and then I worked on some of the machines. If you guys want me to, really, really want me to, I'll be willing to take my camera into the gym and show you what I do. Uh, it would be kind of weird and hard because it is weird to have a camera out in public and people are working out around you and people are like, well, what are you doing, man? Are you recording yourself? What are you doing? You know. Um, if you guys really want me to, I'll do my best to try and do that. So, um, that was basically what I did today. Uh, what I like to do is just go back and forth, do little bits and little bits and little bits and just go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, that's my, my uh, routine as of right now. I might change it up in a little while um, when I get more used to going to the gym because it's only been, I think, five, four or five days right now. And then every Monday, I'm gonna to try to remind myself to weigh myself. Last Wednesday, I weighed, I believe, 225. I'm 6'2", and I weigh 225. So uh, tomorrow is gonna to be Monday. Well, today is gonna to be Monday for you guys, but Monday for me is gonna be in the next video. If that makes any sense. So, uh, one of the things I ran into today was uh, a few desserts. Like I saw some soda and some cake, some people eating cake right next to me, which were my cousins. That was kind of hard. I was getting to, my mind is just like, oh, 
I want that cake right now. And they, they were kind of like tricking me like, hey, have some cake. I'm like, no, I told them. I told them I was trying to stay away from that. And uh, I really wanted it. I can't wait to see what the next few days are gonna be like. I know it's gonna come to me where I'll be like, oh, let's have a soda. Cause you know, on a Friday night when you you know you don't work tomorrow, you wanna go to your friend's house, so, oh, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get some pop, I'm gonna get some candy, all that stuff. That's what I wish I still had, but I know I'm gonna feel like crap afterwards. So, if I, if I start to get to that, I think about what's gonna happen after, well, how am I gonna feel after I eat or drink that stuff? That's what I'm gonna think about when I encounter something like that. How am I gonna feel afterwards? And is it good for me? No. I know I can do better. I can eat something like more, more like real food um, instead of candy, sugar, anything like that. Just remember if you're doing a challenge like me and you want to stay off sugar, just think about that. Whenever you encounter something like that, think about how you're going to feel afterwards. Are you going to feel crappy? Are you going to feel like you've cheated? That's how I would feel. I feel like I cheated and I don't like cheating. So that's all for today, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to stay awesome and live life.